Moloeni Bafundi, video 2 of the work series and we are now going to look at the interview situation in a little bit more detail and try and analyze some of the words. So, Utobelake Ufunda Ngom Sebenzi, that Ngo is about, so it's Nga and Um Sebenzi, Ngom Sebenzi. Oh, Bengezwe, oh Bengezwe, which has been advertised. Now, it is highlighted because of the Bengezwe, because Bengeza is to advertise, Bengezwa, to be advertised. And all of this is explained to us in Module 4. Akana msebenzi akapangeli goko uzimisela uku decide uku tu. Epepe ni kutiwa. In the paper it is said. Okay, so T is to say Tiwa to be said. Again, and this will also be explained to us in module four later. Magatumele. There we have the verb e ending because of the use of the ma. That something should be done. Again, this is explained to us in video nine of module three. All the examples of of where of cases where the verb ends on e. ECV that's just vocabulary. Um e kuka, it includes inkukaka, an important item of vocabulary. Ezi malunga concerning. Now malunga which is normally followed by na. Na and ezi nezi. Now again, dwelisa would be to list, dweliswa to be listed. Also, in another example of what will be explained to us in module four. And off he goes now to the interview and introduces himself. Just a useful phrase to remember: Ndingu, that's who I am. Pleased to meet you. Sit down. Enkosi, thank you. So you're looking for a job and not working at the moment. Nothing strange. I am the Pangeli. I am not earning any money at the moment. Work is scarce. Kwaye and my debts are, are many. Ewe kunzema. Life is tough these days. Ndi yi jongile. Now that ile which normally would appear at the end of the sentence is there because of the use of the object link ye. So I have looked at it, namely your CV. So the ile is there because of the use of the ye. About Tracy Marco Bateta Kakuse Ngawe about you takes us back to the pronouns way back in module one. Gawe, Gawena, Ingo Sindia Zama. And then we look at the work experience. Wawuke wa sebenza. Wawuke wa sebenza. That is a, a phrase or a form of expression which is very useful. Just to ask whether something has ever happened. And this wa is past tense. Okay, have you ever worked? Now this form of the past tense will be explained to us in in module four uh, in in two modules time in fact. So this question is then repeated in a whole variety of workplaces. And the response is yes, Ben D. Now that Ben D as we know, D is I, Ben D is I was working. And again, this was ing form of the verb will be explained to us in module four. Again, there is the, the other form of the, of the past tense. 
which will also be explained to you because we are accustomed to the verb ending on e for the past tense for example the seven z vw i worked at vw now there are therefore two forms of the past tense and these will be explained to us as i say in module four i have so many years experience um, working and then we look at the natural abilities and the question is asked now asking why uh, does not appear too strange in this example but the use of the little word kuteni does affect the verb in some instances and this will be explained to us in video 8 of module 3 you are welcome to go and look at these videos if you would like to satisfy your curiosity now Dinesa Kono, I have the ability Soko Seven Zisana Nabandu of working with people. This is now natural talent as opposed to acquired skill. And it is useful to note the question Uyakwazi, are you able to? And one of the responses Andi Kwazi, I am unable to, I can't. And of course the positive response, Diakwazi, I can. And then regarding education, Dinayo e licensing, Dinayo, that is from Yona. And uh, these are the various qualifications that the person has. Or alternatively states, Ndisa Funda, I am still in the process of studying. And for that reason, Andi ka bi na yo i degree. I do not yet have one of them, namely a degree. The yo is from yona i degree, and the so is from sona, uh, referring to isi danga. So, Andi ka bi na yo. So, the, that another example of that ka would be Andi. Sebenzi, I have not yet worked. So sa still in the process, ka not yet. Okay, and I've seen all of that on your CV. And then we move on to the reasons for leaving the job. Wa wu Antoni, that wa is why did you leave your position? Again, this is the form of the other form of the past tense, which will be ex uh, explained to us in module four. And another way of asking the same question: Uyeki swe yindoni yekisa is to to leave or to stop, but yeki swa is to be made to leave. And of course, the yeki swe is merely past tense. Why were you made? To leave. Ishishini la pelelwa ngumsebenzi. The industry ran out of work. And again, that's another form of the past tense, which is explained to us in module 4. And because it ran out of work, kwa funaka ndi hambe. There's another example of the verb ending on e, which is explained to us in video 12 of module 3. And another reason for leaving is da den doa. Denda is to retrench, den doa to be retrenched. Okay, so you can see the this W which occurs. And this, as I say, is explained uh, to us in module four. Finally, then giving the person an opportunity. Kulungilendi zaku kunika, that is pure future tense. Take the form kufuneka uyi zalise again. The use of this kufuneka, as you will recall from way back in module one of book one, kufuneka is followed by a verb ending on e, and we are busy gathering examples. 
and we've had quite a few now in this in this uh, interview situation so go back and see if you can remember the others or recap on the others thank you for your time we will let you know of the results of the interview next week and it concludes with um, not promising not to let the people down good so we've just looked at some of the important language features which we will be discussing in more detail as we encounter more and more examples. Inkosi kakhulu bafundi so bonana ke.